Welcome to Weddings Unveiled, the podcast designed to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. Here's your host, Angela Profit. Hi, y'all. It's Angela Profit, your event and productivity therapist, coming to you from the heart of Music City in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Weddings Unveiled, professional tips and secrets on wedding planning and event design, where we take you behind the scenes of our past experiences in the event industry, what we have learned from them, and how they have made us stronger. This podcast will help you grow a productive and profitable business to launch you into success within the hospitality industry. All right, so calendars, everybody open your calendar on your computer or your phone or whatever, iPad, Um, and I want to show you a few things. First, I'm going to go over the computer. So... You've got to make sure that your calendar is set up appropriate. If you don't have a computer, you can also do it on your phone or your iPad. But under the preferences and the accounts, this is super, super important. The people who are like, I hate Apple. I hate, blah, blah, blah. I hate. it's because they don't know how to use it. They don't know what they don't know. They don't take the time to set it up. Um, Apple, I feel like it should be literally illegal for them to allow you to set invest thousands of dollars into yourself, your business, your life, and you walk out of there, you're like, good luck. And it's like, they have so many free classes. Like I literally, one December, we didn't have any events. This is when I changed over from PC to Apple because I had a virus and I need to buy a new computer. And my friends are like, Angela, you got to get a Mac. You got to get a Mac. I'm like, no, you guys like da, 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 da. And so my very first product was a iPad which is like so backwards. Most people get the phone first, then they get the iPad, then they get the computer. I did it all ass backwards. And so I was trying to like do this work around with the droid because the iPhone didn't have the features because I was so stuck in my old ways, blah, blah, blah. And then like I started to have problems with them talking to And So my friend at the store, because I made friends with everyone at the store, they thought I worked there because I sat through all their classes and I learned all this stuff and then I applied it to our industry. And then I'm like, okay, if I can do this and implement this and make myself productive and set a good example for the creative industry, I can teach this. And hopefully one by one, like people will listen. And so every year we get more and more people. They're like, oh, this isn't hard. I just didn't know what I didn't know. (coughs) So you want to make sure, like go into your preferences and set this up. Like our default calendar is meetings. IES stands for Infusionsoft because that's our software that we use. Tell your calendar, do you want birthdays? Do you want holidays? Like what do you want? Um, The most important thing under your accounts is you've got to tell your phone what to pull from. So like for calendar, I only want to really use iCloud. Now, we do use Google on the back end for our red calendar because this is, um, I don't want to lose anybody here, but we use a software called Appointment Core that plugs into our software. So when you schedule an appointment with me, it goes into our software and then it's routed through Google, through Appointment Core, and then it ends up on my Mac calendar. You got to set that shit up right or it's not going to work. And so, yes, I watched a lot of videos and got a lot of help, but it's so much more productive now if people actually use the link. Um, So my, but my iCloud, you can tell over here, right here, how many calendars you have. And then I'll show you guys on the phone and the iPad. So you can see like it says meetings IS. So these up here are powered through Google and you can name all this stuff, right? So you click on it. You right click, which is two fingers, and you can get info, and you can type right here. Like, what do you want this to be called? I want it to be called Meetings Infusionsoft, and you can pick the color. I have a family calendar. I uncheck my family calendar because I don't want to know what all the kids are doing every day. I just don't. Um, Then, so you can, like, watch how quick all this goes away, right? (laughs) So you can click on and off and like, yes, it looks like a Christmas tree, you know, whatever, but 
this is how my life is organized. It's the only way I know to operate, to get shit done. It's the only way. If, if something happened, I don't know. I need to know the sun up, the sun down for weddings. That's right here. I work with Jewish clients. I need to know the Jewish holidays, when not to contact them, just to be respectful. And then you can do like birthdays and Siri and all that. Um, some important things to know, like, I mean, I'm just scrolling with two fingers over and over and over. And obviously, like, I'm into May. And like, you know, when you get busy and you get to know what you're doing, like, oh, my gosh. I mean, look at how far out we, we're going, right? Mm-hmm. So, um just to give you an example, when you're putting things on your calendar, like a new event, and we're just going to say test. Now, it popped up red because I've already told my computer to make my meeting calendar default, right? And then if I want to change my calendar over here, you go to the colors, and then you just choose. Does this go on my personal calendar, the medical calendar, the home calendar, the family calendar? you got to pick. And people are like, well, that's annoying because I just like to say, hey, Siri, schedule me a dental appointment tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Time. And then she would say, you have an appointment about Rima coaching and True Colors books that overlaps with this. Shall I schedule your appointment about dental for tomorrow at 4 p.m. anyway? No. All right, like, I Angela. can't. I'll leave it off your calendar. I can't use that function because we have too many moving pieces, right? So, but for reminders, it's amazing. But you got to tell your stuff where to freaking go. Um, the other thing to note is in all of your different things, put the location. I mean, it, it, it ties into your maps. It It's so much more easy. This is where you add invite people. So if they're on Outlook or whatever, you can add them there and put your notes here. Like, why the hell are you meeting with people? And if they have a website, like, what's their, like, fill this out. Like, take time to prepare. So the minute you're scheduling something, you know why you're doing it. Are you coaching? Are you driving revenue? Are you doing it because it makes you feel good? Like, why the hell are you putting stuff on your calendar? Um, So... The other thing that is really important is to make sure it's syncing with all your all your devices, okay? So we're going, everybody look at their phone, and I want you to go to settings. Who has an Android? James, do you have an Android? Okay. You know how I know that? Because on your text messages, they're green and not blue. (laughs) And that's okay. So the terminology is going to be a little bit different. Um, But go to your settings. And, like, for those of us who have iCloud, like, at the very, very top, I want you to click there. And I want you to scroll. Scroll to iCloud. And tap on iCloud. So, James, basically for Android users, I want you to, we're looking to make sure stuff is backed up on the cloud. You would not believe how many people I work with, uh, my own team, not you, somebody else, my own team members the other day, I'm like looking at something and I'm like, she's like, why is this not syncing? And she has been through this class, okay? And she had like turned my, it was on her, um, her little iPad mini, which it was new. But she'd had it for a month or so. I'm like, you didn't set this up? Like, what's wrong with you? Um, but you want to... I'm sorry. You're fine. Like, mine is a cloud and account. Yep. Okay. So make sure you're... I don't know what the terminology is for Android, but you want to make sure that you, the cloud is turned on. Okay. So basically, right here, see how all of my my buttons are green pretty much Mm -hmm. the most now these buttons are for a reason we're going to go through them but basically I want you to make sure the most important thing is make sure that find my iPhone or iPad whatever you're using is on freaking on people like oh my god and if you're cheating and you're running around turn your location services off okay like (laughs) seriously if you don't want to be found but more so if somebody takes your phone or you leave it somewhere you want to get on iCloud.com and you want that shit to beat trust me okay Um, so make sure that's turned on now keychain we're going to talk about that later Uh, some of this stuff 
thing with all these updates. I, I wait two weeks, mm-hmm. two weeks before the updates. Let them work the kinks out. And then I watch a video. I go on Apple's website, and it's like, all right, what's new? I'm not going to read through the 163 changes. <laughs> um, but I do want the highlights, and I do take the time to do that. And, again, you want to make your phone work for you. Um, now, make sure also that your calendar's turned on. Because if it's not, you're not using the right calendar, in my opinion. Again, it's like, Google's great. I use a lot of Google features. Yahoo's fine. Uh, However, iCloud and Apple are the leaders in backing your shit up. So why not pick one and use it? It's like people choose Dropbox, and now Amazon's doing it. And it's like, if you've got all this iPhone, like, I don't understand, like, pick one, pay for one, stick with one, and find your contacts and find your stuff. And again, it's just people don't know what they don't know. So you're going to know today how to do this. Um, so anything we do on the iPhone, you're going to want to do on your iPad as well. So it's a little bit of, like, if you have all three. Um I don't use my iPad as much. I mean, you literally, I use my phone for everything, but I'll remember like, oh, I need to change that setting whenever I'll pick up my iPad sometimes or if my phone's dying or whatnot. So make sure that your calendar is on and... Like on, Kristen's using one of my old iPads right now, and it's like on that one, that's like the community iPad. So like I'm not logged into my Apple ID on that. It's like I don't need calendar notifications. I don't need that iPad used for music and then for timelines, and that's pretty much it. I want everybody to go to your calendar, Mm -hmm. and down here I want you to click calendars, and your list should match this list. Does it not? It doesn't. And if it doesn't, that means that your calendars are not turned on on your phone. We'll go over it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, when you hit calendar, down, see where I can add a calendar? Mm-hmm. So guys, if you add it on your computer, you've got to add it on your phone, and you've got to add it on your iPad. It's not going to magically do it. It's just not. So... If you go into your computer, you want to make sure that, again, they're syncing and talking to each other. And so there is a plug-in for Office 365, but you have to set it up. Okay. So so when I had a droid, that was happening to me, right? So we would use the, ca- the Google Calendar. And also, you, guys, you have to think about, like, 3G, 4G, Nashville's going to get 5G soon. Um, If we vote on it, go vote for that bill. But it's like, you got to think, like, if I'm in China and she's in Hawaii and you're in Nashville and we all share a calendar and you're putting something on in Hawaii, China, like, it's got to run through a network, right? So when all those systems are are online and they're talking, you know, that it quickly happens. But every once in a while, it's like you're, you don't have Wi-Fi or you're traveling or whatnot and all this stuff is being added, but it hasn't gone through a network yet. And that's what I was experiencing with the Droid and the iPhone. It's like Allison would put stuff on the schedule and then two hours later, I've done had three phone calls and I'll like hold things on the calendar, but what she put on the calendar hadn't popped up yet, which for our calendar, I mean, it is moving constantly. Now, when we have full days blocked, like today and like coaching stuff for the next few days, like no one can go in there and use the link because it says I'm booked, but you just have to set the plug in up and I can help you. Um, Anything like this, like if your shit's not working, write it down, type it out, make a list. I want everybody to make sure their stuff is syncing and working. In the cloud. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to tune in next week for more tips on how to grow your business. And if you have a question or an unresolved issue that you want guidance on, connect with us on angelaprofit.com. For more valuable resources, again, visit the website. And until next time, remember to stay productive and profitable. You've been listening to Weddings Unveiled with Angela Profit. Join us next time for more insights to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. For more great resources, head over to angelaprofit.com.